Ranked the most active forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 Weather with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It has been a hot, humid day here in the Central Texas. Matter of fact, Waco, we topped out at 98 degrees today. Our heat index at times this afternoon, 107 degrees. And that heat advisory continues until 7 o'clock this evening. Temperatures right now are still in the 90s. 94 degrees here in Waco. Colleen checks in with 98. It is 97 in Temple, 96 down in the College Station area. But look at the heat index. It feels like 107 here in Waco, 109 in the Mahay area 107 down toward College Station 102 in Caldwell you can see why the heat advisory is going to be going at least until 7 o'clock tonight still a lot of humidity around and that's why we're feeling that a little bit cooler though as you see the different colors up in Bosque County that's because some afternoon Showers and isolated thunderstorms have been firing up with the heat of the day. Plus, we've got some outflow boundaries floating around in North Texas as well as out west, and that's affecting what's going on here uh, in our area. As you look a little bit closer, we'll take you into Bosque County. We are looking at some isolated showers. There are a few uh, uh, storms out there too, so wind gusts of 35 miles per hour can't be ruled out. But the general trend, as you can see here, as they are beginning to weaken now, as they turn, they're going north and northeast at about 15 miles an hour. So not moving very fast, but some heavier rainfall. And the good news is you, you need some of the rainfall to fall here because uh, drought conditions are a little dry in parts of Bosque County. This is the latest drought monitor. Comes out again every Thursday and we can see the yellow up there in Bosque County. That puts us in the dry category. It's also dry as you work away from Hamilton County down toward Coriel, Bell, and now the southern part of McLennan County in the dry category. So any rainfall that we see out there, we will take. I know we still have a surplus for the year, but for the month, obviously this is only the second day of the month. We're still a little bit uh, on the dry side. Future cast not picking up on those showers and storms, but I know they are out there. So we're going to see those at least through 9, 930 this evening. They're not going to be severe. They'll start to weaken by midnight, partly to mostly cloudy skies, temperatures upper 70s to lower 80s. And then you'll notice what will happen overnight tonight partly to maybe mostly cloudy skies the farther south you go, but you'll be waking up to temperatures in the mid 70s here across the region. And by lunchtime, already climbing into the mid, maybe the upper 90s in some spots. But the good news tomorrow, even though you see some triple digits, and I know it's not uh, easy to say this with good news, we are looking at lower humidity tomorrow. So our heat index will be the same roughly as our air temperature. So about 100 degrees, what a deal, right? 101 in some spots tomorrow by late Friday night. A few isolated showers and storms may try to clip off into the eastern part of our viewing area, but the, I don't think they're going to have very much luck. And by early in the day on Saturday, as we kick off the 4th of July, mostly sunny skies. Again, a stray shower can't be ruled out with temperatures in the upper 90s. So here's the forecast for tonight. Still a few scattered rain showers out there, an isolated storm or two, mainly north and northwest of Waco. Otherwise, that will end around 9, 930. Otherwise, partly cloudy skies, about 76 degrees, the low temperature. And then mostly sunny skies tomorrow. It's going to be kind of a hazy day, a hot day. 100 degrees will be the high temperature. Take a look at this. This is the Texas Dairy Queen long range 10 day forecast. We're going to kick off the weekend looking pretty high and dry. Isolated chances of storms on Saturday and Sunday. I would not cancel any outdoor plans right now. Just be aware. The trend next week, slightly cooler weather with a few chances of rain on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then right back up into the upper 90s and lower 100s, that is, by next weekend. As for Bryan and College Station, you can kind of see uh, mainly quiet but hot for the July. Some rain chances there as we start next week, and then by the end of the week into the next weekend, it will be hot and dry. But you know, uh, Adam, some areas out there seeing that rainfall, they sure could use it, and Absolutely. they're seeing it right now.